Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouchApp Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty cool one for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at the Killabee 8257 Big and Tall Series Gaming Chair. And of course, I chose this in the gray colorway, as you guys can see, and I think it looks outstanding. Now, at the end of this video, I am going to be giving you guys a promo code that's good through October 31st, 2021. So if you do want to pick this up, check the description and the pinned comment, to find the latest discount codes. So let's quickly go over some of the specs of this chair, uh, just to knock that out of the park before we get going on my thoughts. So it has a heavy duty metal base. It can lay flat. It's got an adjustable retractable padded footrest. It's got memory foam seat cushions, a head pillow, and a massage lumbar support and smooth rolling casters, which I can vouch for, they are very smooth. So since this is the big and tall series, you might be thinking this is built for giants, but I'm 5'11", and this says it's recommended for heights 5'8 to 6'2". So that's what they consider big and tall. Uh, I don't consider 5'11 to be super tall, but slightly above average for the US. Uh, so maybe these are Asian sizes, I'm not sure. But regardless, I think that most of you guys will probably end up with the big and tall series. It can hold up to 400 pounds. Let's start talking about my thoughts here. I personally use a Herman Miller Aeron every day for work. I've never had a gaming chair. This is my first gaming chair, and I want to thank Killaby for sending this out free for review. For gaming and lounging around, this chair is perfect. Now let me explain. First, let's talk about the build and the setup. I was able to build this chair with one other person in about an hour, but there were two main issues that I ran into while building it, and that definitely extended the time. I probably could have done it in about 45 minutes or possibly even 30 minutes if I hadn't run into these. So the first issue, on the back of the chair, the instructions do not mention which orientation to put this metal piece in. If you do it the wrong way, it won't work. So this should save you some time. Just do it the right way the first time. Next, we had some issues with the armrest spacers. There's nowhere in the written instructions that it mentions the spacers and how to use them. Um, there's just a picture of a black dot. That is the spacer. So uh, just put the spacers in for the armrest and you'll be good to go. Now let's talk about the looks of this chair. There is no denying that this chair looks awesome. Everyone I've shown it to has loved the looks of this chair. Like I said, I went with the gray model and black, and I think it looks really good. This is the big and tall model, so if you're below 5'8", you might want to get their normal model. Otherwise, the big and tall might be for you. When I'm sitting in the chair, I personally take off the neck or headrest. I think it's a little too high. I wish it could go a little lower, but it can't really based on the shape of the chair. So I just take it off, not a big deal. It also has this lumbar support pad, which is also removable if you don't like it, but it's special because this has a massage function built in. Now you don't have to use it, but if you do, it feels really good. Here, take a listen. Now overall, this thing is pretty sturdy. The base of it is heavy and has a nice heft to it, and the wheels glide very well. No issues there. Let's talk about my favorite mode, and that is the lay flat mode. So this is by far the most relaxing way to lay in a chair that I've ever used. Plus it has the built-in footrest, which is retractable, so you don't have to use it, but you can. And I just love to lay down with the footrest out, laying flat, playing Brawl Stars on my phone. It's really relaxing. I've actually almost fallen asleep in this chair, and I've had a few friends and family try this out as well, and they love the lay flat feature. Two of them actually did fall asleep while trying this out, so keep that in mind. It is very comfortable. When you pair this with the massage function, it's game over. It is super nice. Armrests here are very nicely padded. I do wish they could be raised or lowered, like my Herman Miller chair, but I don't think this is possible due to the design of the chair, because for it to be able to lay flat, the whole armrests have to move, so they're not really adjustable. So it's an okay trade-off for me because I like being able to lay flat. Now the seat itself is padded very nicely. It's comfortable. Uh, when sitting upright, I do kind of wish the seat base itself had a bit of a curve, kind of like the Herman Miller Aeron uh, for the front of your thighs, I guess you would say, closer to your knee. That way it cuts off less blood flow and it's just more comfortable for a longer period of time. But maybe as I use it and break it in, uh, it will conform to my legs a little better, but that is one thing that they could improve on on the next version. One other issue that I noticed is sometimes the footrest, since it's on this, these metal sliders, if you're moving the chair around a lot, which I was for the review, it can slide out just a little bit. And if you get up while it's slid out, you can cut your leg a little bit on the metal piece that slides. It didn't draw any blood from me, but it did definitely gash my leg and it kind of hurt. So just remember to check and make sure that the footrest is pushed all the way in before getting up. Not a big deal unless you're moving the chair around a ton, like I was. 
but on an average day-to-day basis when you're just you know sitting in your chair for a little bit and getting up that thing's probably not going to be coming out so you probably are going to be fine now at the bottom here the seat has a lock function uh, to lock you into whatever position you're in which is great the chair can also be raised or lowered to your desired height with the other lever overall it's a super comfy chair to sit in for gaming sessions Reviewing chairs is a bit difficult because it can take months, if not a full year, to really know if a chair is right for you. Like if your back starts hurting or not, that can take months. So for me, this chair is great. It feels great to me. Uh, my favorite mode is lie flat with massage while relaxing after a hard day of work. Upright is pretty good too. Laying down is definitely the better way. Definitely check this chair out, guys. See if it's right for you. I'll leave a link down below to pick it up as well as a discount code for, I believe, $15 off through October 31st, 2021, if you wanna pick one up. If you have any questions about this chair, drop them down below. I'll try to answer your questions. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.